Hello everyone, Mike, Newfound Past, back with our morning pack and ship. Um, not a lot of sales, I am in the middle of my redo, so yeah, it's, I got a mess behind me. <laughs> Get the chat open over here. Okay, yeah, um, uh, four cells. Um, uh, I've found three of them, so I'm gonna pack up three of them this morning. I have one coffee mug that sold, but that bin is upstairs and I have to find it. <laughs> uh, I shifted. Oh, good morning, Ann. Good morning, Josh. As a part of my redo, I took about 70 of my storage bins upstairs and stuck them in my dining room. To make room down here so i could shift stuff around so all my coffee mugs and all my clothes and stuff are sitting in my dining room all so i have to yeah morning anissa morning what to do with my list everything is shifted everywhere so oh here's my list So yeah, I took all those bins upstairs and you don't realize how out of shape you are until you're carrying about 70 bins upstairs, up and down, up and down. <laughs> so the past couple of days, I'm, I'm a little bit sore, but it's fun. Um, I got a lot of errands to run this afternoon. I got to go to the grocery store and stuff. So I probably won't get a lot done down here today, but I'm hoping to have all this wrapped up by Saturday. So got a lot of work ahead of me. And this, he'd be dead. Yeah, I felt dead. That's what. <laughs> and we also had a our when we had the movers move our stuff in. We kept our we had a not a small safe. It's a substantial safe, you know, with valuables in it and stuff. And I had it down here. And we decided we want to put it up in our master bedroom closet. So I carried that up to the third floor, the safe. And yeah, I thought it was dead after I did that. <laughs> Good morning, Dusty. Good morning, Gina. Good morning, reseller man. How's everyone's morning so far? Gate City Picker. So yeah, um, all those bins are up there. A lot. I've I've left my big bins down here. You know, I have some big giant bins because those are just too hard to carry and too heavy. But getting the smaller bins out of the way. Well, it gives me enough room to shift thing around because I'm going to shift my desks down and my shipping supply station over. And I want to make my photography thing over here. And I'm going to do a video on this once everything is done. Uh, yeah. So everything's just a mess now. And eventually I want to run some shelves up high and get, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's probably, it's probably going to take longer than Saturday actually, but it'll be functional by Saturday. So, yeah. Well, that's good, Anissa. Uh, they have what they call that the Lane Array or whatever that's consignment show for kids' clothes. Yeah. My niece did that with some of her stuff last year and she made pretty good money off of it. Good morning, Ron. Uh, not a lot this morning. Like I said, I'm not going to go on and on like an hour like I usually do. Just ramble. I got the the three things to pack up and I have to find the fourth after I'm off, off air because it's somewhere. And I'm uh, going to get those packaged up and I got to get out and run errands. Got to go to Costco today. So yeah, I'm going to jump into packing up some stuff here. Like my computer's in a odd spot that I'm not used to. Everything's in odd spots, but I pretty much know where everything is still. <laughs> but don't be surprised if stuff falls. <laughs> Just like that. I don't know how big of a box that needs. But no, we'll, we'll see where that's going. Went ahead and grabbed the box, but need to see where this first one's going. Going all the way to California, of course, so of course. 
So I'm definitely not going to box that. Get my pirate ship opened because if it's California, more than likely I'll need my pirate ship. I think so. I forget who the person was that gave me the tip about chatting with pirate ship about getting the international shipping option open. I don't know why it's just not there, but you have to like open a chat with them and request it. And then you can do uh, some limited international shipping on pirate ship. So, so I had a, a, uh, a first class package going to uh, Canada. Yeah. And that would probably have been helpful. Hey, John, good morning. Good morning, Justin. Well, that's a good visual, Justin. <laughs> Uh, that's a nice day gate city uh, like i said i i this is all of my own volition because i have not listed anything i only have four orders because i haven't listed and uh i expected that i mean getting any sales after not listing anything for 10 or 12 days is is a blessing so i got a lot of good stuff to list if you guys watch my haul video this you know, that I dropped yesterday. It was yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. It was some good stuff. So, yeah, same reseller, man. Yeah, John, uh, usually coast to coast or big stuff. I mean, when it makes sense, you know, when it makes sense to do, do cubic, I'll use Pirate Ship. But other than that, I'll just use my, you know, the top rated discount on eBay because, you know, it automatically puts the tracking number in and all that stuff. So, I know you can link those and I'm going to do that. So somebody complained that I said that before. So I'm not going to say that. <laughs> John. <laughs> oh man. I'm more interested, John. And maybe you've had videos of it before. You talked about in one of your videos about the flea market and scene in Cincinnati is pretty good. And it was that way in Columbia, Missouri as well when I lived there. There was a really good, solid flea market base, not only with customers, but with vendors as well. So I'm always interested in learning more about that. And maybe next time I go through that neck of the woods, I want to drop into some of those. So instead of going through the Columbus, we'll go to uh, go south and go through uh, Cincinnati. Good morning, chicken fried steak. That sounds good. I'm on my fast. I'm about... Got about another two hours to go on my fast, so I'm hungry. Justin, my eBay fees are wonky. Went from zero to ninety dollars, not paying a dime until it finished. Yeah, that's weird. Because you, pay, Justin, pays his eBay fees daily. If anyone's curious, so why it's zero? He pays them every day. I just pay my monthly invoice. Yeah, the Gate City, I know that similar one sold for, it was, was it 50 plus shipping? I can't remember because I was in the store, you know, just going real quick, but it didn't have embroidery on it. Uh, this one does have that Delaware Special Olympics embroidery on it, so I think that hurts it a little bit, so. Well, thanks, John. Next time we roll through there, I will. Uh, I don't know when that'll be, obviously, but yeah. I'm always up for a good flea market. Oh, I owned one for 10 years, so <laughs> I'm always interested in that. Good morning, EMM. No, you're right on time. We just started, well, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks for thanks for that. So, yeah, since this is going to California, this item I have hanging over here, and for those of you that are new in this video, I don't show basically what the item is, what I paid for it, how much it costs, all that stuff. This is just me packing up and uh, you'll see everything either in the haul video or the sold video. So yeah, you guys keep on chatting and I'm going to uh, get this packaged up. Yeah, I gotta think. Let's just test cubic on this just to see where it's at. I have everything everywhere, so I gotta get my scale uncovered here. an avalanche <laughs> once all this redo is done it's going to be much more functional down here but everybody knows when you're in the middle of one it is just 
chaos upon chaos. Yep. What's really bad is I have no flat surfaces right now because I have stuff stacked everywhere. It's always nice to have flat surfaces. I moved my, like I said, I needed the room down here. So I took all those bins upstairs, which about killed me, but it was necessary. I moved my dining room table into my living room and all those bins into the dining room. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, definitely been fun. I could probably cram this into a padded flat rate, but we're just gonna see on Cubic what it's telling us. Since this is coast to coast, I don't want to cram this in a padded flat rate, but I will if I have to. Buy it on its own, just in a silo bag. It's one pound, eleven ounces. I'm doing pirate ship right now. Just seeing. On eBay, it looks like it'll be about $10.48 after the discount. So let's just see what it pops on a pirate ship. Yeah, it's still ten forty eight. So let's try the um, yeah, poly mailer trick and see if that helps any. Oh, that helped a lot. Okay, so this is uh, one of the rare times that the, uh, and for the, those of you that don't know, let me show you. I'm gonna grab a, a poly miller. Okay, and this is a piece of clothing, so this is just fine. The poly miller on pirate ship for cubic. You measure this laying flat, and there's a drop down option. You put, you know, poly miller and put in the, the dimensions of your poly miller. And it's qualified for, for cubic, and so it took it from ten dollars and forty eight cents to eight dollars and forty six cents. So two dollars and two cents savings by doing that. So because this poly miller is fifteen by twelve, yeah, and that's what I put in. I pretty much it's muscle memory. I put that in. So let's get the exact weight I put in. This is one pounds, 11 ounces by itself. And I put in one pound, 14 ounces. So it'll be around that. Probably an ounce or two lower, actually. So saving money on pirate ship. A couple dollars now equals a lot of money at the end of the year. Sorry if that's super crinkly sounding. One pound, 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces. Feet 46. So that saved us quite a bit of money. Two, well, two dollars. Two dollars is a lot of money, you know. So, okay, I'm going to get that address copied over. This is going to Laguna Beach, California. Purchasing the label, print the label. There we go. All right, first one of the day. Got to remember to copy that tracking number over. Every time I say it, I was like, I gotta link my ebay account to this but uh you know you get to doing stuff and you forget and so where am I? I gotta like put a reminder on myself copy all 
There we go. Add tracking. Whoops, that's not. I didn't copy the right thing. Hang on. I'm like Dustin, it's taken me a while to get used to the shortcuts on a Mac. They're just a little different. A little different. Okay, so I'm pop back over here. 42, 43 watching. As the best viewers on YouTube, I'm convinced. You guys are chatting about something I missed. That's that's okay though. You got that's pretty awesome. Mechanics. Yeah, Justin said pirate ship kicks ace, and they do. Thanks, Gate City Picker. Okay, so moving on to the next item. I've got one right here pulled already, so let's measure this. And so just over seven inches. Now this will be fine in a seven by seven by six priority box. Let's see where it's going though, to see what we're going to do. I got to keep in mind, I, I did free shipping for long enough that it got in my mind that, you know, I'm paying for shipping, so I need to be super careful. I've changed everything to calculate it. So this person paid for shipping, but I still want to try to get the best rate for myself if possible. So this is just going to Georgia. So yeah, this is fine. Let me grab the box. Move this tape dispenser over here so it's not so loud. If I can find a spot. I had to, bad enough having everything everywhere when it kind of has a spot, but when you move everything everywhere and it's just everywhere, it makes it worse. All right. I hope that would fit, but it's like a quarter inch too small. So let's look at our options. Because a region rate A may be best on this, and I think it is. Let's get this weighed. I do want to box this. You know, I could, a lot of people would just throw that in a poly bag, but I want to box it. It's going to be about two and a half pounds. Yeah, so I got that right on the money. So, yeah, let's do a regional rate box. Regional rate A box. Before I kick something over there. There we go. Make sure that'll fit. Ooh, it's gonna be close. It's going to be close. It's always that way, isn't it? These priority mailboxes seems like they're always super close, like they were designed that way. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. It's, this box is just like a quarter inch too big for all these priority mailboxes. Figures, knock some stuff over. Okay, so round three. Let's check the uh, packing material in this. It has decent packing material in the box, but I still don't feel comfortable just throwing that in a poly bag. Let's see what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Dusty's in Georgia. Good morning, Marcy. Thanks for 
popping in. Okay. Oh, I know my viewers are better than that. 46 watching and 15 thumbs up. I know you guys are better than that because you've proved it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, chicken fried steak. Got all 12 items packed up and ready to go. Good morning, B Slayer. How's it going? You guys keep it going. I'm going to still try to find a box for this. I guess I may just go with the uh, 10 by 8 by 6. Yeah, probably so. the six eBay box which I use quite frequently it's, uh, I sell a lot of hats too and most of my hats will fit in the eight by six by four box if you turn them the right way but sometimes you have to use the 10 by eight by six box I know most people use the 10 by 8 by 6 for hats but I'm, I'm telling you the most of them will fit in an 8 by 6 by 4 but you have to turn them the correct way so yeah that's about right I have to do a little bit of uh, fill on that but not much I'll be stoked when this redo is done so that way I can start listing again. Have you guys, uh, I obviously can't see the chat. Have you guys had a rash of returns at all? I've had, I, ex I fully expected, you know, two to five returns or so. And I'm at uh, one full return and one partial refund that um, yeah drove me crazy i'll tell you about it in a second i mean just for giggles i'm gonna see what this says on pirate ship but i don't think it's gonna be any different because it's just to georgia which is pretty close so this is eight dollars and 22 cents on ebay so let's look up pirate ship. Because, you know, we just, all of us just started using this not too long ago, a couple months ago. So still familiarizing ourselves with the ins and outs, but I have a pretty good grasp of what's going to be better on pirate ship and what's not, but uh, it's always good to check. Well, and this one is better. This one qualifies for cubic. See, that's why I checked. This one would be, well, it's not much difference, but it's a little bit, and every little bit helps. $8.22 on uh, eBay, $7.52 on Pirate Ship. So that's 70 cents difference. That 70 cents can make a difference at the end of the year. So we're going to definitely Pirate Ship that. this address copied over that's why you'll never hear me claim ever on my channel I'm an expert or I know it all for some reason this daggum address won't copy okay but yeah I learn something new every day still learning the ins and outs of pirate ship learning what works and what doesn't They get to a point where everything is better on pirate ship. Who knows? Okay, buy that label, get that tracking number copied over, and be done with it. All 
Alright, second one. Go ahead and get this. Tracking number copied. All right, we got that done. All right, second one. Let's see what you guys are up to fifty three watching. Whew. I think we all are, Justin. Justin, that he's an expert at procrastination. Yeah. I think we all are. Good morning, Glenn. How's it going? Yeah, Stephen Scroggins says if you're not top rated, you definitely need to use a pirate ship. That's what he meant, pirate ship. And that's true. You know, uh, I have, you know, top rated plus seller discounts. So we get uh, commercial plus pricing, but uh, eBay doesn't have cubic. So that's the difference between if you have top rated and pirate ship. But if you don't have top rated, use pirate ship for sure, 100%. Okay, so last one. Well, I do have two more, but like I said, I got a coffee mug I have to find, and it's upstairs in the bins in my dining room. So. Let's get this one sent out. This is just a cheapie, but uh, it's fine. It's going. To, it's just going to Alexandria, Virginia, which is right up the road from me, a few miles. It's funny. Seems like I sell a few items per month that is in my local area, at least. So they paid for shipping, though. So. Let's get it right here. Items like this are why I want a bigger uh, base scale. And I'm going to get one of those soon, maybe after this redo is done. Because this thing, I can't see the readout. Or get, I want to get one with a bigger scale and a detachable readout. You know, So I can see the weights on bigger items like this. So I can't see it. Okay. The bad thing about this one is boxing it because it is metal. It will get dented if you poly bag it. It's a weird size. It's definitely going to be a priority because it's over a pound by itself. Uh, that is probably too big. I wonder if a 1095 box will work for this. Probably not. Uh, it's close. This is the 1092, so 1095 may work. You okay, can grab a 1095. Number 1095. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I don't think it will. It's just not wide enough. No. But another inch or so. I didn't think so, but I had to check. It's always best to use the priority boxes if you can, because they're free. So. Just have to reuse the box, which I'm not a fan of, but this is not going too far, so I'm gonna reuse it. I usually hoard these size boxes too because it's a good size. From you know, this is the box that actually my polymer was just sent to me in. See, that's about a perfect fit. Put a couple of pieces of paper down in there. This is definitely overkill for this item, but the box fits so. Kind of like the glove fits. I 
think the box itself weighs more than the uh, item. But luckily it's not going to California. It's just going up, up the road a little bit. <laughs> Sometime before this redo is done, I'm definitely gonna break something. Not on purpose, but uh, you know, I'm gonna run into something. I'm gonna, yeah, it will happen. Yesterday, I thought I was gonna break my back carrying that safe upstairs. Two pounds, three ounces. Yeah. Nineteen, sixteen, and four. Wait. Yeah, six ninety eight. No, we did it on the other items, and this one's super close. But let's just no. I, I know for a fact this won't be eligible for pirate ship because it's over eighteen inches. So yeah, this is going to be the cheapest rate for sure. They paid for shipping anyway, so. <laughs> but I do know that one won't qualify for pirate ship. All right. Third one. So we do have a fourth, but I'm going to have to do that one later. Let's see what you guys are up to before we wrap it up. 53 watching and 23 thumbs up. Man, you guys are pretty awesome. Yeah, Steven, I know that. I talked about that before. I know I can import it directly, but uh, yeah, haven't done it yet. It seems like every time I'm doing it, I say, I need to do that. And then I go do other stuff and I forget. So I don't know. <laughs> and Michelle covered it. Yeah, sometimes I had a carved out. Yeah, I know. I guess scatterbrained. <laughs> yeah, Steven, I think you're new, man. It's the first time I've seen you in here, but I appreciate you coming in. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Got a bunch of them from Scott. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, so I want to cover the credit card thing real quick. And I know a lot of people have heard it. So just tune out for about 15 seconds. Uh, Steven talked about turning his credit card. He has his debit card or credit card or debit card hooked up with, with a fire ship. And that's great. Pick whichever credit card suits you, whether it's the 1% on PayPal debit card or another credit card. I use an American Express Hilton card for points. Um, you can do it on pirate ship and it's just easy peasy paypal you have to empty your balance out which i did i didn't forget this time and set your backup funding source as your credit card and you can turn points that way as well so there you go <laughs> well thanks marcy marcy has a haul video coming out so you guys go and subscribe to marcy and check that out i will check that out uh it may just be playing in the background i kind of let youtube just kind of run when i'm doing stuff so I see a lot of stuff and I miss a lot of stuff. Awesome, Steven. Thanks for popping in. I do appreciate that. We have a lot of good people, a lot of fun in the chats. So that's what I missed here. Thanks for popping in, Chicken Fried Steak. I'm sure he's already gone, but that's a funny name. I like it. I'm probably, let me see. What is today? Wednesday. <laughs> the days run together. I'm not kidding. There it is on my computer. It's Wednesday. Okay, I was about to check my phone. But it's Wednesday. So I got to run errands today. Got to, you know, get food, get groceries, all that stuff. Um, do some stuff around here. I'm thinking about, well, thanks, Anchor Journey. I appreciate that. Thinking about doing a video, just a standalone video, like a short one of what I spent a big amount of money on. That wasn't in the haul video. So uh, probably just be like a five minute or, but uh, I think I want to do that. I may film that later today and uh, drop it tomorrow. So, because I dropped my sold videos on Friday. Uh, Tuesdays, haul videos, Fridays, sold videos. Mondays for patrons, Thursdays for, Mondays and Thursdays for patrons. <laughs> It's like I've got a work schedule. No. <laughs> Plus I have, you know, as a part of our, you know, my wife didn't say you have to do domestic duty. So it wasn't like that. My work, my wife works full-time job, a highly stressful job too. Uh, 
and she's excellent at what she does, but it's high stress, as you can imagine in DC. Just think about that. Um, and she commutes. Um, we live by the train station, but she takes the train in, and that takes about 45 minutes one way every day. So, an uh, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes every day just commuting. So, I take on a lot of the domestic chores. I, you know, do the grocery shopping, cook most of the meals, wash the dishes, vacuum. So, that's got to be a part of my schedule, too. So, it's not just all flipping and grinning. <laughs> Uh, just she works for the government, Marcy. Uh, just a pretty high stress job. You know, can't really say specifically. You know, I'm not trying to be super secret or spy anything. It's just with her, what she does, she can't have. You know, it can't be out there. You know? so. so yeah, so I got to do. Uh, Friday is usually my vacuuming day. I vacuum everything every Friday, and also uh, Thursdays is washing clothes and linens and beds and stuff so um i should michelle but, but they kind of upcharge everything you know so and i'm trying kind of a cheapskate <laughs> so yeah is he marty yeah so he get it so <laughs> i mean uh i don't know anything anyway i mean i know what she does but i don't know any you know, anything real. So, uh, yeah, got to keep that to herself and I get it. I'm, I'm veteran military myself. So I, uh, I understand. So yeah, I'm trying to, I was just going through my schedule. So, uh, Sundays we, we thrift all day, pretty much all day. We start in the morning and we get home anywhere from six to eight o'clock at night. So, and she does that with me as well. So not only is my wife, work full-time job she thrifts for him with me every sunday all day because it's fun for us actually we we actually enjoy the sourcing part she likes doing it i like her being there so um and she's very knowledgeable <laughs> she is uh just as knowledgeable as i am and she's a lot more knowledgeable in some categories than i am like ceramics and art and pottery she is uh in the mid-century stuff she's really really good uh so sundays we thrift all day monday of of course i pack everything i think i'm going to do these pack and ship videos on monday wednesdays and fridays now i was doing them kind of every day but uh tuesday and thursday i was bumping up against scott the bearded picker and i don't want to do that um because i like scott a lot he helped me a lot on my channel so I think I'm going to do these on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so Mondays do this show pack and ship as well as, you know, your normal listing and everything like that and normal food and dishes, preparation, that kind of stuff. Take care of the pets, dog walks, you know, that kind of stuff every day. Uh, film the haul video on Monday afternoon. My wife edits the haul video Monday night so I can get it up online for the patrons to see. And then I make the, that haul video live Tuesday morning. Uh, Tuesdays, the haul video and uh, just normal stuff. Wednesdays, which is today, this video. And uh, usually grocery shopping. Usually I'll go to Aldi, uh, Costco, you know, get all the grocery shopping done and that stuff. And complicating all the schedule is the redo. <laughs> I'm still in the middle of it. So, um, yeah. Uh, Thursdays, I filmed the What Sold video and drop it. My wife edits it Thursday nights, and I drop it for patrons. And then uh, public on Friday. Uh, Thursdays are also clothes washing, linens washing day. Fridays are vacuuming day. Drop the video, normal stuff. So I'm busy. <laughs> I'm super busy. Oh, that's why I don't have any hair left. There's no hair under here. <laughs> Got a lot of hair though, so that make up for it, I guess. Okay, so that's really it, guys. You don't have anything else. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. I need to go get ready, and head out, and do the grocery shopping. So all these, all these is awesome, and it, they haven't had my coffee cream in the past couple weeks. I'm kind of annoyed by that, but. It happens. Uh, went and got some awful coffee creamer at another grocery store. <laughs>
but thanks guys uh if you don't know i have affiliate links attached to amazon of stuff i use stuff i recommend so if you need to buy anything whether it's scales or label printers or tape or dispensers or bubble wrap or anything i have most of everything listed there so shop through there i appreciate it we get a few pennies from that and i do have my patreon account uh direct link to paypal uh post office box all that good stuff so yeah you guys check that out and i appreciate it all you guys are awesome hit that thumbs up and we will see you back on thursday and we'll do this again so thanks guys see you later